Shell in Nigeria has recently carried out a 4D seismic survey over the Bonga field and adjacent areas. This was the first such survey ever to be carried out in the deep water area offshore Nigeria. Not only will this provide important information for efficient management of the reservoirs in the Bonga field itself, it will also provide a baseline for the development and management of the other fields that have been identified in the vicinity, namely Bonga Southwest Aparo and Bonga North. This will be the first time that Shell has monitored a deep water field from the start with a pre-production baseline. Steve Keedwell on board the GECO Triton. Behind me, you can see the Bonga FPSO. Currently, we're undertaking a time-lapse 3D seismic project, colloquially known as 4D seismic. What we're looking for is to image the subsurface to see how the production from the FPSO and the water injection to the oil reservoirs has affected them so we can better target our drilling operations. At this time, we're trailing four streamers at three kilometers length and we're doing what we call an undershoot and that's basically we're imaging the areas underneath the FPSO and SPM. FPSO stands for Floating Production Storage and Offloading. The FPSO offloads oil via the SPM, the single point mooring, which is connected to tankers that come in and receive the parcels of oil. Because of its proximity to the Bonga FPSO, the Bonga 4D survey used two vessels steaming in tandem, with one acting as an air gun source and the other towing an array of receivers. This enabled complex recording and imaging beneath the Bonga FPSO. To our port quarter, we have the GECO Scorpio, which is acting as our gunboat, and we're trailing the streamers and we're traveling between the FPSO and SPM. The Bonga field lies in water depths of around 1,000 meters, while Bonga Southwest Aparo is in 1,200 meters of water. Development from such great depths could not have been attempted even a decade or so ago, and the development efforts here typify Shell's approach to technically challenging projects. The Bonga 4D survey covered an area of 1,081 square kilometers, and the acquisition alone was projected to cost more than $25 million. I'll be training navigator. We monitor the coverage, the pre-plots, where we are shooting, where we are acquiring seismic data. We have onboard processors who, like QC, quality control what the information or the data we give them. As acquisition specialist, what we do is we take care of the acquisition equipment, the swimmers, and the front end of the guns. So we basically deploy the equipment and make sure they are in the right place, make sure they are at the right depth. We also ensure that these equipments are performing to specifications. We record the data and also we record the evidence data. And we continually monitor this information online and offline to make sure it means uh, what the client wants. Also, we continually talk to the clients, and uh, if we have any problem, we call them in to make a decision on the quality assurance of the data. Usually, vessels try and avoid each other, and these ones like to come in nice and close. So you're acting as, as a vessel traffic system because you're maneuvering vessels around you all the time, and making sure people don't hit into each other and you've got to make sure that your own safety of the vessel is paramount above all of that. It's a good working environment. You, you work as a team. It's all very important as a teamwork on the bridge. 3D seismic uses acoustic vibrations that are sent into the ground and measured according to the length of time it takes for them to reflect off the subsurface rock layers back to the surface. Billions of data samples are collected and processed using supercomputers to generate a detailed, three-dimensional image of underground structures. Reservoir size, shape and depth estimates, as well as porosity and fluid content, can be derived from the results of such surveys. You can see towed behind us in the water, the seismic guns, and behind them, the streamer cables. In the very early days of seismic, we used to conduct seismic using dynamite and we'd have fish for dinner. Things have improved a great deal since then, and now we use very environmentally friendly techniques to collect seismic data. What is seismic data? Seismic data is the reflected sound waves 
from the subsurface rock properties back to our hydrophones that are in the streamers stowed behind us. A 4D survey differs from the normal 3D surveys in that it adds the element of time, so that changes to the fluid composition in the reservoirs can be monitored over the life of the fields. While some of the wells in the Bonga field produce oil and gas, other wells re-inject water back into the reservoir. The Bonga 4D survey will allow the reservoir engineers and geoscientists using state-of-the-art computer systems to optimize static and dynamic models of the complex reservoirs. We've been on this project now for over 70 days and we've had zero incident, I'm proud to tell you. Yeah, as a Nigerian, it's a big one. We normally do 3D acquiring of data in 3D, but this is 4D and it's been different. Lots of on the boat, two boat shooting, on the shoot, and it's been awesome. I should think it's invaluable experience I'm getting right here. The end result of such a survey will be enhanced recovery of hydrocarbons from the fields and better siting of production and injection wells, reducing the cost of drilling and prolonging the life of the fields. 4D is going to be the in future. It's invaluable experience I'm getting right here.